so we're back after six months <laughs> <laughs> long time <laughs> literally just got some food we're on our way to Chesil um, Nath's just got his literally I think he's pretty much got more sausage roll on him than in his mouth pretty bad um, yeah it's been a long time we've uh, just been doing stuff lots of stuff has got in the way of us going fishing I actually went fishing Friday at Chesil just as a I didn't really fish, I just sort of chilled out on the beach really. I've just been so busy doing my house up. Nate's been helping me doing that. Um, the boat's been done, well, we're getting the boat done. It's just been, everything's yeah. just taken longer than we've expected. It's just time of work, isn't it? When you work yeah. full time and you've got, you know, weekends doing stuff, yeah. children, all this, that and the other, everything gets, life just gets in the way yeah. sometimes. So we have decided that we need to get out back on the filming. That's today. Um, ferry bridge. Yeah, ferry yeah. bridge. Let's see what we can do today. We've got a few, you know, new rigs we're going to show you guys. Um, hopefully we catch, catch some fish today. But yeah, we do apologise. I know there's a few people messaged and said, when are you doing another video? Um, today is that day. Today is the day. We hope we're in for a treat. Hopefully, we should we should be okay. We always say hopefully. We do, we do say hopefully. We're not confident people, you see. The trouble is, when you've had a bit of time out, it does take a bit of time to get back in, into your stride. Yeah. Me and Dickie came down last Friday. We went yeah. down to West Bex. Did a bit of mackerel bashing. Bit of mackerel bashing. Nothing else really come out. Yeah. Um, didn't bother filming because we just... Yeah. Same for me. I just I was just mackerel bashing. I was just getting attacked by crabs. I, don't, I thought the crabs had gone from the from the reports that were coming out. People saying, yeah, they've gone, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hmm, I don't know. I'm getting nibbled by crabs. I had like three rigs that were just completely destroyed. So that was at Abbotsbury when I went. So I'm, we're hoping Ferry Bridge End, with it being a little bit deeper, like you say, it'll be all right. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a minute when we're on the shingle. I'm going to eat my sausage. And he's going to finish eating his sausage. Well, and his Red Bull. <laughs> in a bit. In a bit. So, about an hour in now. Second bait up. <laughs> Nate's just got snagged by his earth rig. Right in the leg. Uh, not much really at the moment. It's been quite quiet. Um, I'm out with an earth on my left rod. On the left, uh, sorry, on the right is, is the bagnall. Um, with just a, I think it's a four, four size four hook. Looking for the bream, just black tip with squid. Uh, don't know what, what are you out on, Nate? I did also notice that, as hopefully you can see, let me zoom in a bit, out there is some people diving and I think where they are is where the Adelaide is, so just off of, well, at the Portland end at Ferry Bridge, you can just see them out there diving, so I don't know if that's any use to anyone, so there is a little wreck off there, there's quite a few people if you look down that way, fishing in line with it, so I um, don't know if they've had any joy. No one around us, there's quite a few people all the way down the beach, as you can probably see. Um, I haven't seen anyone pull anything out yet, but still early tides, really just on the turn now, so we're hoping hoping our luck changes. But yeah, we'll uh, bring you back hopefully when there's um, some more action. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, so Brian is in to a fish. In the wind that he has gone and got himself a little baby black bream there. On the old bagnal bar that he Bagnal made. bar, yeah. Look at that, look. Spot on, mate. <laughs> yes. What bait was down, that? Uh, black tip with squid. Black tip with squid. Yeah, half a little black lug and then just a little bit of squid. Bait elastic on. Yeah. But he has devoured it. So yeah, he's we'll get that. Off. Yeah. I'm getting back because he's way too small to keep, otherwise I would have had that for tea. Nice fish though, isn't he? Pretty. There we go, look. Yes, one. So as you see, I've just got into that bream there. I'll just show you the rig I'm using. So it's a bagnall bar. 
and then we've got a flowing trace. Six foot, something like that. And then all I've got is a big old pop up on it into a uh, Cox and Raw uh, Musto size six, I think they are. These ones. You see that? The uh, pop up beads are these Invoa big, whatever you want to call them, mega beads. And then I'm just using 20 pound amnesia for the rig body and just that, that little trace there. So that's the rig. And it just clips down. You've probably seen them. The Magnum bar, this little clip here. I can't remember what they're Cascade, so Cascade Scribble, thank you very much. Goes into there, that clips down onto the. <clears throat> it's a bit short, but you get the picture. Clips down, that pins off, that goes off. There's your trace. Like that. So hopefully we're getting small breathing in a minute. Um, but that's the rig, so I thought I'd just show you that so you can time yourself. Very easy to do. I mean I've just done it in about five minutes if that I'm not slow in time rigs, so <laughs> there you go, that's it. So hopefully that gets you some breathing. Yeah, isn't it? it is a tiddler. It says he's in! Another brain. Yeah, nice size, you guys and girls. That's a nice size bream, isn't it? Look at that one. He cooked beautifully as well. Check him. He's coming home for dinner, I think, that one. Look at that. Lovely. That's my little rig I made up. Lovely black bream, chisel black bream. A little nibble on that. Nibble on it. Lovely, nice fish. Not a very big take though, was it? No. But he's there. He's, he's there. there. He's on it. There. Look at that. <laughs> barely in there. There we go. Right, let's get him dispatched. Wants a nice bream for tonight. There we go. Look, so he's definitely a keeper. Oh, he's sipping about Stop here. About. Having a go. Get back over there and meet. That's it. Good lad. In the bucket, you think? What? So 28, just just under, yeah, just over, just under 30. There we go. Beautiful. Lovely and fat though. So. Yeah, he's a nice fat breed. So Lovely. Ryan bangs into him, and I just reeled in, didn't even notice. So the bream are definitely on the fever. That's probably a bit small. I reckon I could probably swallow that in one mouthful. So he's going back. guys so the sun's gone down we're still sat here traps are set for some big stuff so we're going for cod there's been reports of the summer cod down here um yeah so far nothing's happened <laughs> we've literally yeah. just come on a high now so two hours down that's when pe most people have been having action so we shall see what happens but yeah it's a nice evening the wind's dropped off um, it's not. Yeah, it's lovely out. It's still not too, quite warm as well. Yeah, it is quite warm. It's I not. Need to put my jumper on. It's not too bad. It's not too bad out. Um, but yeah, apart from that, first session back, free bream. Ryan's just um, sorted his out. That's all been cleaned out and ready to go home for the for the stove. Um, yeah, hopefully we will uh, be back with some more fish. But yeah, it's the first session back. We haven't really fished for a while. It's taken a bit of time, isn't it? To yeah, so we're just adjust. We're out now on what have I got out? Uh, a 4 0 dropper with uh, what is it out on squid and black? 
big, big flipping bait. So we'll try. We shall see. You know, we're trying. Know, the unicorns might prevail. They might, or we've just had a conversation, and you know what will come. We will end up into a couple of straps, won't we? Yeah, old Connor the Conga. So, yeah, it's been a nice day. Actually. It's been quite nice to get back out. We haven't really done too much filming. Um, so the video will probably be quite short that you'll watch. A um, few bits in there, which is quite nice. Um, Ryan's demo on on um, on his Bagnall um, setup that he caught that bream on. Um, first um, fish I've actually ever caught on a Bagnall. I've been using them here and there, watching videos as well, like other people using them. That's the first time... I've actually caught anything on one, so yeah, I was like, I kept prevailing because you, you were like, nah, yeah, it don't work, it but don't to work. To be fair, I've used since I've, I've changed over to that amnesia. It's definitely a lot better. Yeah, buy proper line. Don't just buy your cheap twenty pound, fifteen pound line for you know. Because it's memory free, isn't it? Yeah. So it, it it won't kink up. So I mean, if you are looking at doing your own rigs, a lot of people go down to the local tackle shops and yeah. do get the rigs. Obviously, we use a lot of TAF stuff. Um, so you know it is all about spending a bit more money on on the line quality um and it does does help out because there's nothing worse than chucking it like in comparison to what i've been using that one just tangles knots up even in the, when you're bringing it in and that has come back clean unless unless it's been at it like we've had bream attacking it and it's been a bit tangled when you brought it in but apart from that it's been it's been really good and it's prevailed because it's caught what three yeah, three breams three bream, yeah three bream. Okay. Um, so, yeah. No mackerel about, which is weird. I don't really understand that. Um, I brought my spinning rod down and had a few chucks, but I've not seen anybody pull out any fish really today. I think no, chap one, next I saw, door. I saw him pull out a tiny little bream. Dinky bream. What, well, as fun. small as that one I had? Yeah, size, <laughs> I think. Pointless. I, mean, I haven't seen really anyone pull anything out of the bank. I'm sure someone has. But yeah, we've, what will happen to... is tomorrow we'll look on, on the old Facebook pages and you know full well that there'll be some 80-pound so... cod. 80-pound <laughs> <laughs> cod off the chisel. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, there's always, always, every single time we go fishing, there's always someone the next day that's had X, Y, Z out. So yeah. we're here. We've got bait in the water. Lines are out. That's all we can do. Um, like I say, it's getting dark now, so if we do pull anything in, um, you might, you know, be a bit you patchy never know, on You the... might see us again, you might not. You definitely will. <laughs> Charles, well, hopefully we'll pull at least a strap out. If not, this video is going to be quite short. Um, and you've seen the bream, so. You've seen the bream. What more do you want? We've caught. Fish. We haven't blanked. <laughs> we haven't blanked. Um, we plan on maybe, well, hopefully getting out this week local. Um, sort of Bournemouth pool area um just easier in it I know the, I think the kids still off yes yeah just. so just so I think a lot of them we get in school uniforms and stuff really I would have thought yeah, um exactly. getting the reds down ready to get back to but school you want to try them earth rigs out yeah so we'll talk about them I think in the next video because you see quite a lot of people using them now and they're, they've been quite effective uh, yeah they have um watched the chap and he was here banging bream out on an earth rig so I've, I've done them to basically the same same spec as as him um but yeah i'll do um i'll do a little bit on the next one just just explaining um the earth rigs but um they're quite again they're quite simple rigs to make um we haven't caught on them tonight or today so I, it's a, just one of them. I think we've got easterly winds as well. And they do say when the wind's in the east, the fish bite the least. So potentially something to do with that. But yeah, right. We'll be back maybe with yes. another fish. If cod. not, cod. a cod. Cod. Yeah. Be a cod. <laughs> Fingers crossed is a, a cod. A cod looking eel. A cod looking eel. Yeah. Cod looking <laughs> conga. A conga and drag. <laughs> right. In a bit. Bye. All right. So we're just packing up. Okay. Ryan's into... I think he's been on there for a while. Look how badly he was hooked. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a scad or something like that, doesn't it? Someone will tell us. I'm not too sure. Does anyone have any right. idea? The weird kink in his... Yeah, he's got like a little black spot uh, on there. I don't know what he is. I'm not sure. It kind of looks like it's not white in. No. I don't know. But yeah, it's only like a pout either. It's not fat enough. Yeah, it's funky looking. Got like... Shiny, I don't know, it's scad is it? Or like yeah. a, I don't know, but yeah, there's another fish. Get back mate. Yeah.